Hi, I'm Carl, one of the Applications Engineers here at Teledyne LaCroix, and I would like to answer the frequently asked question, how do I set up a histogram? Setting up a histogram to view a distribution of data is easy using a Teledyne LaCroix digital oscilloscope. Let me show you how. Today we are using an HDO6000 oscilloscope, but this answer applies to all MAUI extreme oscilloscopes with advanced math capability. On the screen you can see we have a square wave. This could be a clock signal, for example. We can see the waveform doesn't appear to be very stable. To see what might be going on here, I am going to set up a width measurement and create a histogram of those values to see the distribution. We select Measure, Measure Setup. We will set P1 to be a width measurement. In the Measurement Setup dialog, we can see actions for P1 from which we can select histogram, trend, or track. We select histogram and then choose F1 as the math trace to place the results. We can now see our histogram. To change some of the settings of the histogram, we touch the F1 descriptor box and select the histogram tab. We can set the number of values to max, which is 2 billion, and we can change the number of bins. We can see this doesn't look like a Gaussian distribution like you would see with random jitter. We are seeing a small group of values repeating, and we have one very obvious outlier that occurs often. From this information, it looks like we may have a glitch in this signal. We can go back to the parameter setup dialog box and turn on statistics. We can see our max and min values are 911 nanoseconds and 53 microseconds. We select trigger, trigger setup, smart trigger, set smart type to glitch and set the glitch condition to less than one microsecond. It looks like we are now triggering on the falling edge of our signal but polarity is set to positive so let's zoom in. We can see we have found our glitch. Here is our 911 nanosecond width. This is how we set up a histogram on a Teledyne LaCroix digital oscilloscope. For more answers to frequently asked questions go to TeledyneLaCroix.com slash FAQ.